What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel and to today's video. So we are going to be going over the brand new Mini Filthy Frog by Guggen and Ketchco. Uh, and if you guys are unfamiliar with Ketchco, today's video is actually going to be sponsored by Ketchco. So Ketchco is personally one of my favorite brands out there. Uh, through the help of Ketchco, brands like 10,000 Fish, Biospawn, Shop Carl's, uh, Mystery Tackle Box, and even some of the lures by Guggen have helped been developed and brought into the fishing industry. So Catch Co. is a huge reason why I'm able to make so many of these great videos for you guys. On top of that, they're a big reason why you guys are able to get out there and fish so many of these awesome and great baits. So a big shout out to Catch Co. for sponsoring today's video. Now let's go ahead and talk more about these brand new Guggen frogs. So first we will go over the mini frogs. We have the bullfrog, we have the bone color, we have the leopard frog, and then we have the nightclub. Uh, going over the larger sizes, we have once again the bullfrog, once again the bone frog, once again the leopard frog, this time in a popping edition, and then we are going to have a green pumpkin frog. So before we get moving forward in the comparison of these two frogs, I just want to go ahead and tell you guys that I will be doing a series of tests on these lures. Um, sort of a durability test. I will say it is very unusual, very unorthodox. But I do want to give it a full scale durability test, something that you guys uh, may never seen before. So going back into the frogs, real quick, I will tell you why I picked up these colors before we talk about the differences. The black frog is going to be my go-to when I'm fishing really murky. Uh, waters, um, sometimes you're fishing at night, and I found that black still works really well at night. Um, but on top of that, I picked up the white also for night, uh, or fishing murky or clear water. Um, sometimes white does pop a little bit better in murky water, so we did get you know some nice contrast, the black and white. Those are going to be my basic go-to frogs. Um, the next two that we picked up are going to be very simplistic. We are going to have the leopard frog, the green frog, and then we're going to have the bullfrog, the brown frog. And the reason I picked up these two frogs, once again, you have the white belly, you have the dark belly, but they're going to mimic more of your natural color frogs, especially here in our urban areas in Texas. Uh, a lot of the urban frogs here are going to be bullfrogs. But you do see your occasional leopard or green frogs, and uh, if you know me, it's all about matching the hatch. So if I see either of these two at the ponds that I'm going to be fishing, instantly going to be tying on this instead of these. But these will probably be the go-to all around um, just to get fish because I know these are going to work, especially this bone. Like it just it attracts fish really well. Speaking of the bone, we will grab that one and we will grab our larger bone and we will just talk about the differences in these lures. Now, if you're talking about just how they look in general, um, there is not a difference whatsoever as far as appearance goes. It looks like we got the same ear holes. We got, you know, the Guggen green eyes. Uh, we got the eyeliner, we got the red little gill, the bone color, and the same vanilla kind of skirt. Um, the major difference you're going to see is obviously the size and the weight. The mini frog is going to be 2 inches, and our regular size frogs are going to be 2.5 inches. The weight of the mini frogs is going to be 3 eighths of an ounce, and the weight of the uh, full size frogs is going to be 5 eighths of an ounce. Just from experience of trying previous models or the previous bigger frogs, I will say that they definitely did change up something about the plastic. Uh, the bone frog I've always had really good hookup ratios on. I've never had an issue on it. Now in comparing that bullfrog color to the bullfrog color, um, it almost feels the same to be honest. It, I do feel a slight bit more skin on the teeth or however you want to kind of say it. it. It's slightly more thicker. Maybe that's how they get the weight. Um, but I definitely don't see a huge, huge difference. So I'm super excited to try out these mini Guggen frogs. One of the other key differences that I've noticed um, is just going to be the hook size. Obviously, you have a smaller body frog, so we're going to have a smaller size hook. It looks like these are probably going to be about 5 aught, and this is going to be probably about a 2 aught. Um, but now that we got a good idea and a good understanding of how they look, feel, and the overall comparison between the two frogs, we are going to start our durability test. And uh, we'll probably be testing it out either on just one of the frogs or maybe on a couple of them. I don't really want to destroy them, like I said, but uh, I am excited to try it out. Let's get to it. All right, guys, so the first test we're going to be doing is the boiling test. And uh, I actually like to boil all my frogs because it softens up the plastic. So I'm going to throw all these mini frogs in there real quick. Probably give it about a 30-second boil. 
Then once we get the 30 second boil done, I'm gonna pull three of the four frogs out of there. We'll leave another one in there for about a minute and see what happens. I'm not gonna actually try to destroy it or like melt it down, but I do kind of want to see what happens while we leave it in the boiling water. Similar to if you were to leave it like in your car here in Texas, it gets boiling hot. So let's check it out. Ouch, that is hot. So bullfrog number one, leopard frog number two, nightclub and bone. And pop that top back on there. We're gonna let it sit for about 30 seconds, like I said. All right, so it's been about 30 seconds. I'm gonna pull them out right now. I just got a little spoon. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, pop them all to the side real quick. All right, now water. As you can see, it's still boiling pretty damn hot. Ooh, wow, that is like super soft. Stupid soft. All right, the leopard one seems to be the hardest still. We'll throw that one in there for a little bit longer. But uh, while we're waiting for that one to boil, take a look at the softness on that. You guys saw me actually like having to press on it and put force. Like this is so subtle. I could easily pinch this with my mouth. This night, oh, this nightclub one is even softer. It's probably the softest of all three. The bullfrog right there behind that. So it's probably nightclub, bullfrog, and then the bone. So the bone is actually harder to break through this time than the other two frogs. That's, that's kind of surprising. It's 5.09. I'm gonna literally give him like four minutes in there, see what happens. So I'm gonna come back in a sec. All right guys, now while that one is boiling, I'm gonna grab a cup. And uh, once again, we're gonna do an ice challenge now. We're gonna do a freeze. So I'm gonna fill this cup up with a little bit of water. Don't wanna fill it up all the way. There we go. Actually empty some of that out. There we go, just a little in, probably about, I don't know, two inches. Let's just freeze the bone. I mean, the bone seems to be the toughest already, so I wanna make sure we freeze, I don't know, just freeze it, why, why not? It's really crazy too, is like I'm trying to absorb water and like, check it out. I'm gonna squeeze it and try to make it suck up water. Ready? It does a really good job about not absorbing up water, like, it won't allow air in until after like it's staying sucked, right? Stay sucked, or when I pull it out, then it fills up. That's actually really cool. Like I've never seen that from a frog. Show you guys real quick. Stays like sucked in, pull it out, and then it sucks. Crazy. A little bit of water got in that time. That's what I want. So we're gonna try to fill it up with the water little by little. There we go. I think that's gonna be perfect. And we'll pop it in right here next to the waffles. I love the waffles, so it's nice and secure. All right, so I have no idea how long that's gonna freeze, so this video could take upwards of two days just to complete. So if that's not a reason to subscribe to the channel and hit that thumbs up button, I don't know what is, so make sure you do it right now. All right, 5.13, it's been in there for a solid four minutes. I'll turn down. This thing does not look too pretty, to be honest. It almost looks like it's swelled up a little bit. I wonder if that damaged anything in it. It's got like, it's definitely full of hot air. It's definitely, definitely full of hot air. I'm afraid to touch it. It doesn't feel like it's much softer at all. Like, oh, it feels like sticky almost. I bet you I can like tie a rubber band around it and get it to stick in like a really weird shape and it would stay like that. I mean, it's still good though. Well guys, that was in there for about four minutes, and as you can see, boiling hot water, still got the same flexibility, no paint came off, the skirt still looks fine. Uh, I will say the hooks are pretty damn hot, so I'm gonna put it down now. And uh, that that frozen guy, I think he's gonna take a while. I don't know how long that thing's gonna be. Let's see. Yeah, that guy's not freezing anytime soon, so I'm gonna let that sit. We'll come back and check on that later. Now, let's work on these next two challenges. All right, everybody, so once again, I do not recommend you try this at home. We have our protective cowboy boots on, because here in Texas, everybody's got boots. As you can see, it's raining outside, so we got that extra uh, fire extinguisher by nature. And we got the torch in our hand. The Guggenfrog is down low, ready to go. Let's light this bitch up. Oh, 
I don't think I put any fuel. Okay, that's a problem. Everything needs some fuel. So we got the gasoline, just pop some gasoline down there. Let's get it. Oh, oh, dude, it's on fire. Oh, bro, no, no. Guys, that might be rip it. Like, ribbit, but R.I.P. Dude, this frog just got destroyed by that fire right now. I thought I was going to be able to put it out, and now this airplane's coming over right when I'm talking. It's classic. It's a classic Ryan Rick video. Take a look at this thing, guys. It looks like hell. But to be honest, like even after it getting that hot and being on fire for probably about a solid like five seconds, I don't see any punctures in this actual vegan plastic, like whatsoever, no punctures. There's like this, this area right here is the most beat up. It looks like the hook got hot and almost penetrated it. But uh, on this side, it looks good. The bottom part, it might have, yeah, it looks like it pulled the hooks out because the heat made it expand, so it cracked the slightest bit right there that actually might have been for me stomping the hell out of it the skirt I mean it's it's wet noodles guys it is done um, but for a fire test I would have to say this is a successful challenge like this thing survived now we got one more challenge and uh, we might as well stick to using the same lure we're gonna run it over with the car real quick <laughs> and see how that goes and then we might try to fish this thing see if it still catches a fish because to be honest like I can still see this working, like, honestly. And it's raining outside, like, this is perfect time to throw a frog. We need to make something happen today. So let's get this, uh, let's get the keys to my homie's car, because I'm not going to run over this with my car, obviously. I don't want to destroy my tires. So my homie left his car here for the last month while he's been in New York. Shout out, Joe. We are going to run over this brand new lure with your car. So, uh, yeah, let's go grab the keys. So there's only one last way to test out the frog, and that is with the force of a vehicle. Let's go ahead and just roll over this real quick. I got the camera rolling outside. I got this one rolling inside. Let off the brake. Oh, I just felt it. I felt it. Oh, oh, it's in the tire. It's stuck. <laughs> Imagine. Let's hope it's not. The homie would be so mad if I popped his tire with this thing. is stuck in his tire. Look at it. It's literally stuck inside of his tire. Oh my god, he's gonna be so pissed. <laughs> Alright, here we go. <laughs> Dude, this thing has been through hell all of a sudden. I think there's no better way than to end today's video than to actually try to test this thing out. I think I broke the internal piece. That feels so broken in there. Yeah. Anyways, probably no better way than to end today's video than to try to fish this thing so I'm gonna go ahead grab a pole head to a pond and just start tossing around a little bit see if we can make something happen I really really don't think we're gonna catch anything uh, especially after I've destroyed it but hey there's no better way than to end today's test by getting out there and fishing it so let's get to it all right guys just got here to the spot I'm actually bringing two setups with me I'm bringing a big boy just for fun maybe maybe a little bit later on I don't know what's gonna happen and then once again the little Dugan leopard frog um, now this golf course is like extremely flooded today. Um, we are at a golf course by the way, but this golf course is extremely flooded because it just rained like, you know, when I was setting stuff on fire. So we'll see what happens. I'm going to try to fish this little edge. Maybe go around the backside over here. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Man, this thing casts nice. Try this bridge real quick. Dude, this thing cast a mile. That is insane. Oh my god, that bug scared the shit out of me. There we go. There we go. I saw him pop something and I went. Oh, oh no, I freaking hit this tree. My freaking rear wasn't ready to do. Damn it, that was my fault. That was my fault. <sighs> I got 
caught up in this damn tree up here. Oh, oh, I've been working so hard for that damn bite. Oh. I'm like still mad. We almost got a fish on this damn beat to hell lure. And I think I already know what the problem is. When you run over a lure with the car, you might just bend the hooks back or down. And I think that's what happened. But fix that problem. Careful with that tree. Man, that was a good fish. It's at least like a two pounder, maybe three. He hit it. I'm gonna try to keep on fishing these little wall areas. Seems to be where they're at, just in this corner, like I said. Oh yeah, that time we got one. That time we got one, let's get him up. Let's get him up, let's get him up. Oh yeah, it's not a big boy at all. It is not like the last one that we lost, but we got one, yes. We finished the night off strong. Got one on the beat up frog. I can't believe we just got it too. That hook set is sturdy. The biggest one of the day, the one we haven't lost. The lure that has been run over, set on fire, boiled, and now a fish has been caught on it. There you go, the Guggen mini frog guys, getting it done. Even though we've done all that to it, this was the last and final test, the ultimate test, was to see if it could catch a fish, especially after what we did to it. So. Not a big one, but we will take it, guys. Let's go ahead and get this little guy back in the water. Whew, bugs are getting crazy. And uh, maybe get a few more casts on the way out, but I'm so stoked we finally got one after losing that big one over there. Oh, man, I was so bummed out. I've been quiet casting like the last, I don't know, 45 minutes just working my way around the spot, but let's get back in the water. everybody so I think we have found out everything we need to find out about that lure as far as uh, durability catchability and fishing goes um, as far as my little challenge goes today at least uh, we will get out another time we will actually fish this thing thoroughly we will you know have more than an hour of time we won't light it on fire we won't freeze them we won't run them over with the car and uh, we might boil them though that definitely does soften up the plastic a little bit more but if you like today's video make sure you leave me a thumbs up and check out that subscribe button as well it helps the channel out a lot if you got any questions for me let me know in the comments below but that is going to do it for today thank you everybody for watching we'll see you all in the next one